Hey guys, Colin here and welcome back to the CSS Hero Academy. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to install the CSS Hero plugin and also how to update it in case you need to do that in the future. So here we are in the admin area of a WordPress installation and I'm just going to head on over to the plugins section over here in the admin menu and I'm going to hover over the add new and click that. I'm going to click on the upload plugin here and then I'm going to click on choose file and then we're going to select the folder on the computer that you saved the file to in our last lesson and we're going to select CSS Hero and open It'd be slightly different if you're on a Mac but not too much different and then we're going to click on the install now once that uploads we can actually click on the activate plugin and that is the CSS Hero plugin installed. Pretty easy, really, yeah? Okay, you can see it's here. And um, one thing we need to do now is go and get our key. So we're gonna click on this button here. That will open up a new dialog, okay? And we need to log in to the CSS Hero org site. You would have got the login information previously. So we did this in our last lesson. I'm just gonna put my login information in there. Click login. And it will go and get you one of the licenses. And we click on Get License there. And that's it. We are ready to go. So, got it. Let's go. Click on that button. And here we are at the front end of this particular WordPress install. I'm not going to do anything here right now, but I'm going to go back into my admin area because I want to show you how to update it in case you need to do that in the future. So if there's an update notice, we need to do this, okay? So you've just received an update, an email saying there's an update to CSS Hero, or it will show you it within the admin panel here. Uh, what we need to do is we go to plugins. We're going to deactivate CSS Hero. Okay, we're going to click on delete, don't worry, all your settings and everything else will still be here. So click on yes, delete the files. Okay, now we don't have CSS Hero here. Don't worry. Next step is to go back to add new, upload plugin, choose file, download the new version of CSS Hero, and then click on that to open it. We're going to install it. We're going to activate it again, and that will be the new version of CSS Hero installed and upgraded. You don't have to do anything else. Everything will still be the same behind the scenes, but you'll have the new version of CSS Hero installed. And that's it for today's lesson. So I look forward to seeing you next one. I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye.